The mission and the purpose of the Council on Cybersecurity um, reflects a commitment that we hold deeply to a secure and open internet. Our aim uh, is to bring technology, manpower, workforce, and policy together, a focus on these three areas, uh, with an entire ecosystem orientation on the challenges of living and working in cyberspace and the challenges of doing so securely. We will focus on technology by promoting the 20 critical controls, um, urging their adoption for business, government, uh, enterprises at all levels, state and local governments as well, and worldwide. And we're working on uh, with a number of partner agencies and in industry and in government on raising the professionalism of the cybersecurity workforce. And we're working with the C-suite and with policymakers, again, across government at all levels and internationally, on the core issues related to achieving better security in cyberspace. The Council on Cybersecurity is kind of, an, to me, is an idea whose time has come. So we had, um, the, the primary project that I'm bringing to it is something called the Top 20 Critical Security Controls, which really started as a grassroots activity uh, under the sponsorship of the SANS Institute. But it really represents the thinking of lots of people, you know, community of folks who bring great ideas together and people that represent all parts of the ecosystem, the people that understand threat or vulnerability or technology or defense. And the goal was to bring lots of really bright minds together uh, in an informal consensus-driven way to decide on what are the highest priority things that everyone ought to do. And uh, that's had a life of its own for the last few years. Been very successful, adopted by lots of folks and supported by lots of the great vendors in our business. But uh, it had gotten so big that we felt it was time to relook at the kind of model of it. And the right answer was to spin it from SANS into a nonprofit home, a separate place so that we could separate the business of identifying what's the right thing to do from the uh, money making and the business opportunities that happened around it. Now SANS is a great partner and great friend. Uh, it wasn't a question of them doing something wrong, it was a question of how do we uh, take this and scale it up even greater. So having it, having an informal process led by um, a, a for-profit company is kind of awkward for governments to deal with, for example. So the council is the way to bring uh, uh, this, this new home to this activity that we call the critical controls, but it also gave us a chance to bring together the rest of the system. So as we know, the, the business of cybersecurity is not just about having better technology than the other guy, because right? our technology is really there to support the goals of people. And do our people have the right skills? Are we using technology to take some of the grunt work and repetition and error-prone activity out of the hands of humans use technology to make them more efficient at doing the things that humans do well. So we wanted to really explore how do we do both of those at the same time. And for most of our business, people that worry about technology are really different than people that worry about the skills and capabilities and workforce issues. And we think by thinking of those uh, at the same time, you get an opportunity to really dramatically simplify the problem. The third part of the Council's work is really about policy. So uh, I grew up as a technologist, but recognized that policy often sets the context for what you do. It's the thing uh, that your boss often pays attention to. It's the thing that can drive spending or the way that the uh, larger enterprise thinks about security. And so if policy gets out of alignment with the right kind of technology for defense or with the skills of people, then we have a mess. And there are just too many examples of those being out of sync in our business today. So our goal with the um, Council was to bring these together in a holistic way, focused around the notion of practice. One of the things we are not is we are not a research organization. We're not creating ideas, uh, you know, and so forth. There are a lot of brilliant people doing that already. For us, it's about practice. That is, uh, I observe from, from my uh, career in this business, um, most, the vast majority of things that we need to do are actually already known. They already exist in the marketplace. Someone knows them, but you might not or they may be too expensive, or they may not be well integrated, or they may be discouraged by policy as opposed to encouraged. And so the idea was to bring all that together in a, in a way that's sort of natural and focus on how do I take uh, things that I know ought to get done and scale them up. The phrase that we use is uh, going from best practice to common practice. That really is a, a good model for me. That is, I can look around and find great examples of how people have defended themselves or trained people or had great policies but synchronizing them all and then taking the, the good examples, figuring out why they're good, validating them, 
uh, making them easier for others to learn from or to adopt is really what, what the council is all about. You know, as the Council on Cybersecurity, we benefit from uh, all of the leaders and innovators who in the previous years have done a tremendous amount of great work uh, to elevate cybersecurity, to increase awareness, to identify practices, and to help implement them, along with the development of products and services that really help to address various gaps, uh, various needs. So we build upon that. Uh, we are not coming in as a separate entity uh, that is going to uh, go off into a laboratory somewhere and generate something new. Our goal is to collaborate, to work with, to engage the broader ecosystem of players to enhance the game across the board. One of the key players in this space has been the SANS Institute, and they have recently stewarded the 20 critical security controls. The reason that the Council on Cybersecurity is now uh, going to take the stewardship uh, of the controls and provide that leadership is because we are an independent, nonprofit, nonpartisan a group of recognized experts. By shifting away from a private for profit entity and to an independent, nonprofit entity, we are able to reach a broader audience, we are able to engage a broader a group of stakeholders and thus help to drive the implementation uh, of the controls which we believe still provide the very best measures and practices that an entity can implement right now to improve their cybersecurity posture. A key program within our workforce and people practice area uh, is a benchmarking of all cybersecurity degree and certificate granting programs at accredited universities and colleges in the United States. Our goal is to first catalog all of the programs and secondly be able to provide a benchmarking which provides useful information on the effectiveness of these programs in preparing cybersecurity professionals which will be a benefit to prospective students, to the academic community, as well as to prospective employers. This is part of our overall effort to help develop, grow, and prepare the cybersecurity workforce of the future. As with all of our programs at the Council, uh, we are looking for active collaborators and partners in this program and projects, both uh, sponsors who can help provide the monetary backing for the project, uh, as well as individuals who can come and provide talent expertise and insight into the process of benchmarking and identifying the best cybersecurity programs in the United States. We use the saying uh, for the Council, uh, turning best practice into common practice. Because based upon my observation of the problem over the last several decades, uh, men, most of the things that we need to do are already known to somebody, mm -hmm. but they may be great examples that have not been replicated for a variety of reasons. Maybe they're costly, maybe people just don't know about them, sure. they're not consistent with or aligned with policies that we have today. And so the idea was not to create new knowledge or create new technology, it's to look around at things that already are working someplace. When we find them, the goal of the Council is to highlight them, uh, help validate them, figure out what about them can be replicated at scale, shared with others. How do we pull the lessons learned out of that? And this notion of going from best to common is really, I think, an important way to think of it. I remember talking to a, a, a general officer a couple of years ago about some of the work that we were doing uh, in my old job about uh, helping to standardize the, the desktop configurations for uh, the entire Defense Department. And at some point, the general looked at me kindly and said, oh, well, that, that just sounds like commercial best practice to me. And I had two replies to him. One was, well, sir, uh, if we could only aim for the lofty heights of commercial best practice, we'd actually be better off than we are today. The second thing I said to him, though, was, it's amazing how often best practice isn't actually common practice. Right? We call it best for a reason, because it stands out from the crowd. And so the goal is, there are lots of things that are already working. We don't have to create them all from scratch. Instead, can we go find them, find a way to scale them out across a much broader community.